Matt here, Atlas Precision Consulting. In today's video, we're gonna talk about previous sales in the RMA entry screen. Uh, previous sales is very similar to previous requests, uh, which is launched from sales order entry that we've covered in another video. Uh, but I wanted to show you, I've got an RMA I started here, and you obviously can start entering in the items. Then I'll ask you, do you wanna link it to a previous invoice? And you have to select that invoice. You know, So there's some extra steps to it. If you know you're returning some items from one particular order or, or even uh, one particular item over multiple orders, this is a pretty useful feature. So you're gonna right click down here on the item ID and you're gonna go to previous sales. And when you, and, and again, if you know previous requests, this is gonna look very familiar to you. Uh, you can fill in an item ID, uh, item description. Obviously most common would probably be like an invoice number from a customer or order number, which is the P21 order number, or you, if your customer has a PO number and you're pretty sure that the PO number was on uh, the order, you can obviously do that. Since this is a test environment, I'm just gonna run this wide open. If I right click after I've filled in my options, and I can hit uh, apply query. Um, if you wanna start over, you can obviously hit clear. Now, this is going to give me um, my items that I can return against. Now you'll notice this top one here, um, it says, even though I've invoiced 10, uh, I can only return nine because I've already returned one on a, on a previous thing. It also gives you the invoice number, the pricing that was on there, uh, and some other information uh, down the line, customer PO number and so on. Um, now, unlike previous requests where you can not only select the item, change the quantity in previous requests, you can change the pricing. You can have it recalculate the pricing. You can have it keep the original pricing. The idea with this is it's gonna to link to that original invoice pricing. Um, so you can see even though this item here, Bolt 5, is the same item on different invoices, it was at a different unit price. So I can't change that. So it's, you have to be mindful to make sure you're returning against the correct order PO invoice, just to make sure that you're gonna give that customer the correct money back. Um, so all you would need to do is you just select the item and you could change the quantity if you want to. I'm just gonna say, oh, they're returning five of them. Change the quantity and I hit okay. And again, you could do this on all those items. And that was a grid too. So you could filter within that grid. Now you notice it did pop up asking me if I wanted to link to an invoice. It's because if I come down here and I right click on here, I can look at showed linked invoices. It's already linked to the invoice. I don't have to do that extra step of selecting which invoice I want to link against. Um, so that's previous sales uh, in RMA. If you have questions about this or any other topic, put a comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, Atlas is here for your P21 needs.